more than likely Roy. I don't think Carpo it's plays... probably going to be Roy. Yeah. yeah. At least in bracket, I don't think Carpo plays anyone else. Now, I, I wasn't even aware he had like a like a competent secondary, does he? I like to I like to just think that everyone has some Yeah, we all have we all have our secondaries, yeah, but like funny you bring out and you brought out in tournament before or something, like you feel nah, confident I don't, enough I don't in think so. Yeah. If anything, uh, it might have it might have been a a prom once. Maybe. Okay, yeah. Something like, like someone someone I'm not even sure if that counts though when you play Roy. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, oh wow. I think a clean. Less than twenty seconds yeah. in and Ralphie already uh down two to three. <laughs> yeah, that was, a, that was a clean his first dog, grind the ledge, where Roy just uh, kind of makes his home. He can yeah. definitely kill you at 60% so easily, which Roy he might just, be seeing again. Roy is such an explosive character, yeah. It just feels like you can't breathe sometimes when he's pressuring you. Uh, but, uh, Great patience from Carpo in order to avoid that up B. Oh wow. man, these ledge jumps getting caught. And he, and he knew about the, the limit, cross, the crossbow is going to come up. Cross slash. Once Cloud reaches the end, near the end of his limit time, you can kind of uh, also assume that yeah. he's going to just throw it at you. Yeah. Although right there, I'm pretty sure it wasn't near the end at all. He just saw it coming. Ooh, wow, yeah, okay, yeah. Take it, yeah. I think that was DI out in the fair is going to... They can lose the stock a little bit uh, earlier than intended, but Carpo has still got a hell of a lead to sit on right now. Oh, absolutely! All this extra credit he has on Ralphie right now. Mm -hmm. One, one side B would pretty much do it. Yeah, although I will say, but, as explosive as Roy can be to the opponent, the same could happen to him too. You know, like yeah, his exactly. disadvantage day is not so pretty. His recovery is uh, a little bit suspect. So, yeah, the reverse could absolutely happen still. Yeah, because Cloud is has a, a little bit more uh, like. like at least he has range with the uh, with his side special. Yeah. And what Roy has to do is come. He wants to come in close to you, and he wants to just smash on you. Not mash. I don't want to say mash. It's like bad, but like he doesn't want to just go and swing he wants in to on pressure you. you. Yeah. That's a good word. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. He wants to go and pressure you. Yeah. <laughs> Cloud is definitely a uh, more comfortable sitting at a little bit further of a range for sure. Yeah. And when you slide right into right into Roy like that, you're you're in desperate. Oh like, wow. Okay. Yeah. You're in danger. Swinging the cross slash a little too early, uh, gonna get punished and block. No. Wrong one. Pretty commanding yeah. game from Carplo game one. Yeah. This first stock was just wild. Was... This was like a, yeah, 19 seconds. He was dead. Yeah, I think Rafu was really trying to aim for the ledge, just just to like you know magnet hands, but he just ran a little bit too high and that cost him his uh, his first stock. Mm -hmm. As if like he he caused it himself. Yeah. Carplo was also catching it really really well. Oh, okay. And now we have the Rob coming up. Ooh. Uh, now, I've seen matchup a few times. Uh, I know Carpool is definitely gone against um, Dill. At this Dill point, if you've been playing ult this long, you don't have Rob experience. Yeah, bro. Like, like, yeah. <laughs> like, someone, someone's got to play Rob near you, you know? Like, you got to know what's going on. Find a Rob near you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but this, uh, uh, this game almost change. looked like the start of game one, but in reverse. Like... It's, it, the, the shift in momentum and confidence we just saw with Ralphie in those literally first like 10 seconds, it, 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 it's incredible. Like what you can do with Rob against most of the cast, because he is a really good character. I don't care what anyone says, he's really good. Mm -hmm. He has a lot of advantage, uh, and also gyro setups and just find little like other things that that bear. Also, great character. Oh, Rob is certainly amazing. Like, mm -hmm. don't let don't let the down player yeah, get no. to you at all. Yeah, yeah. I'll be like, Rob's too big. Okay, that's a funny uh, meme, but like, he actually is like big and scary. Like, he is big. All right, and then like, what else? Like, like, okay. Yeah. He's also like really good. It's like next. <laughs> Boom. Oh, the gyro on the ledge. Scary spot. Smart by Carplo, oh, waiting for it really to go good. away. It was smart by Carflo, but unfortunately he was just yeah. in that Unfortunately, in that when the gyro goes away, you're still getting ledge trapped, you know? Yeah. Like, it's not quite as scary as before, but like, you still gotta deal with the next option. Oh, coming down with the Nair, but I'm gonna lose to Roy's back air, actually. Might have traded, but you know, that trade was such a... Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, such a good one for Carflo. Yeah, well, something that I've learned with, against fighting Roy is that you really don't want to roll towards the ledges. You want to get as far away from the ledges even as possible. I feel like it's different with Rob, yes. 
Um, just because he can really convert it to his own advantage uh, off yeah. the stage. Especially against someone like Roy. Roy's biggest uh, fear factor is that he has really high base moves that kill you at the ledge early. Yes. So if you're center stage, you're not going to die like, nearly as early to Roy's stuff. Yeah, so take control of center stage is really important against like, Roy. What? Because here it is. Going Once to the you ledge. hit a high enough percent, it really doesn't matter what you're getting matter. hit. It don't matter. Yeah. yeah. Side B is one of those moves that can definitely kill anywhere. Oh wow, he juggles oh, though. Look at his juggles go so crazy. The parry. Oh no, not try not quite getting the force as he wanted it. Oh man, okay, so Ralphie's slowing it down a lot right now. He's like waiting for uh for Roy to commit to something because at this point you can't be like Losing neutral exchanges, you know? When you're earlier percent or earlier stocks, like, you can kind of afford to make a few mistakes sometimes, like, uh, if you feel like the gamble is good enough, right? Mm -hmm. But now it's just like it's it's not a good option at all. I yeah, know, here we go. We have Ralphie off the ledge and right then and there. Oh, yeah. That'll take it. Saw a lot of jumps uh, off the ledge quickly from Ralphie that set and no, no. got punished by the Roy back air a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like Ralphie taking it slow for the last uh, during his last stop, only because that's how you should, you know. Roy kind of yeah. has to go at your pace mm -hmm. uh, when you do the go that slow. It's hard to match Roy when it comes to yeah, being aggressive. No. Yeah. Like and this back air trade is great. Yeah. Once you once you have to fight over, um, oh my god, Jesse. Once you have to fight over whoever is in like advantage or I'm sorry, not advantage. Um, Roy's pressuring. You just have to. You, you, you gotta hold that. Mm -hmm. you, you think gotta slow it down and yeah, try to read absolutely. their jumps, read their their falling aerials, things like that, mm -hmm. and just try to punish whenever you can.